How do you increase the productivity of a particular tract of timberland? Uh, doing active management um, you know, of, of a stand uh, will really benefit the stand tremendously. And, and from a uh, pine plantation standpoint, doing the intermediate thinning is uh, essential uh, you know, to maximize the economic return uh, of it. And uh, for in the pine stands, you want to do your first one in the uh, 17 to 18 year old range, and you can do a second one in the 25 to 26 year old range, and then you have your final harvest at, at 35. You refer to when you're thinning, the uh, doing a thinning on a pine stand, you refer to that as um, releasing the balance. Why is that? Yeah, it minimizes competition of, of the stems that remain in the stand. And, and then, you know, after that thinning with that, that lack of competition, it'll increase the growth of, of the existing uh, trees in that stand. So that's the main benefit of the And the plant. whole objective of growing the pine crop is to maximize the, the volume of the trees that make it to the 35 years that, when you're clear cut with pine. That's exactly right. And, and, and from the hardwood standpoint, you know, you just basically just let it grow until it's, it, it's there. And, and, and I mean, you can, uh, we've had, we've seen some people do some, some minor, uh, uh, you know, thinning work, um, you know, or select cut work to, to, uh, to open up some of the hardwood stands, but, um, but that, that doesn't happen very often. Okay, and, and, and you, the role of a forester uh, with a landowner who has a, a timberland tract is to advise them as to wh what they should be doing at that time or coming up with a plan? Exactly, exactly. You know, a forester will go in there and, and do the timber cruise and get a species breakdown and, and volume breakdown. And with that data, they can further uh, advise the landowner on, you know, whether it's, it's good to just leave it you know, and let it grow, and what time frame they're looking at for, for maybe the next prescription. And then the other thing that can be done is a forest management plan. It's sort of advice on how to manage that stand in the future, and, 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 and it's a good tool for families, um, you, you know, if, uh, that, that, you know, as, as, uh, you know if, if a property is passed down through the generations, if there's a forest management plan, then that can uh, you know, for the, the family members that, that have less of a draw to the land, they, they can at least know what's going on.